ओके कैन यू सी द स्लाइड नाउ नसेन एक मिनट मला शेअर करायचं आहे Okay, now you can see the slide, right? Okay, so look at it, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm, but a slide, full slide, no, not full screen, but I don't see it, no? फुल स्क्रीन मध्य है ती लेट स्टार्ट ठीक थे शायद स्लाइड दिखते हो सर दिखते यस ओके फाइन विल स्टार्ट यस सर ओके now this today's i have a very simple topic that we will be discussing on so it is a simple but probably you need to know the operation of this then maybe uh, what are the types of this particular mouse and maybe different problems associated with the mouse and how actually mouse is developed and what is basically a mouse as you all know mouse is a input device and we always say it is a pointing device so that by using a mouse pointer you can do a lot of operations is something like you can you can do a drag and drop operations so it is very simple for just to drag something and put it something on this automatically files will be copied or some software will be uploaded or something like this then you can also use a menu selection at the same time this mouse can be used for cad drawing or even design also most of the times you use mouse for scrolling the information or like page down page up or maybe something like what you mean to say single line up and down so that is what we call as a scrolling operation basically mouse is a very accurate and speedy device it is a sufficient speed to operate and at the same time it is very easy to use okay once you are familiar with mouse, handling the mouse then nothing and the cost of this is, device is very very small basically what it happens here it translate the movement of horizontal translate the movement of mouse on a horizontal surface into movements of pointers on the screen that is what we have to see how exactly if you move the mouse then how this pointer moves on to your surface that we have to see then here there are three types of mouse or maybe the technology or types of mouse based on technology you can classify it as a mechanical mouse proto mechanical mouse or optical mouse again based on the buttons provided on the mouse you may say it is a two button mouse three button mouse or a scroll type mouse then based on interfaces that is how you connect the mouse to the system then it can be a serial mouse it can be a bus type mouse or it can be wireless mouse let us say what is serial mouse as you know earlier serial mouse were very popular and as we have seen in the very first lecture there were a two com ports provided at the back end so you can connect one db9 connector to this particular mouse a mouse uh, even db9 connector to the one com port normally keyboard is connected to the another com ports so here most of the time this comports are thing utilized for your basic input devices only then later on to overcome this particular problem suppose if you want to go for some other modems is to be installed then there will not be any port for installing a modem because both the comports are occupied by your keyboard and mouse then to overcome this particular problem uh, one expansion card was developed for this particular mouse and then ps/2 that is ibm developed personal system slash to connector and that that connector was provided on expansion card and you can put one expansion card into your 
motherboard slot at that time mostly it was the isa or isa slot and you can have a communication using bus interface that we call as a bus mouse again later on instead of having additional card the ports are developed onto the uh, then your south bridge pitch became somewhat a better or improved one and then in that case ps/2 mouse interface is provided at the back end which you see now one is violet color another is green color so green color is always used to connect the mouse and violet color is normally used to connect the keyboard so this sort of uh, connections are there and so the, then like ps/2 keyboard you can also use ps/2 mouse which is connected to the respective ports then later on as the there is a uh, uh, development in the say connecting uh, connectors and usb came into the market in fact this is a very revolutionary, revolutionary change in the field of computers and associated device this is probably the best invention in a computer that is what we call as an usb anyway uh, after two three lectures we are going to see about the what is usb and what is firewire at that time i'll explain you all the details details related to usb and how it is developed and now how uh, then we can compare firewire and usb anyway but this usb becomes a very popular device as you know this is a plug and play device or hot swappable device that means during any operations you can remove this usb or you can connect the usb and it can automatically connect the system it is not the case with the earlier two connectors that is a serial connector and at the same time ps/2 connector if you in between your mouse hangs or your system is not working or you you if a problem is there with the mouse you have to be you have to remove the mouse you have to connect the new mouse but even if you connect the new mouse with ps/2 connector or a serial connector that is com connector you need to restart your system so that your mouse can be initialized and it will start functioning this is not the case with usb as you are all aware now and then finally you have a cordless or wireless mouse at the end of a lecture i am going to discuss this particular thing let's see how much, how much time we get there is 22 minutes video which link is i have given at the end of this this is a very nice video which will clear all the doubts about your uh, mouse that is what are the parts of the mouse and maybe working of the mouse and individual component of the mouse it is very nicely explained video if time permits i will start that particular video or otherwise it is given in the link you can see at the end of the lecture so this is uh, the first mouse what we call as a mechanical mouse or the roller ball mouse see at the center you will find there is a big roller that is a heavy roller there and that actually We, hence the name is given roller ball mouse or the as the moment is mechanical hence it is also called as a mechanical mouse so if you see the different parts of ro roller mouse on this particular picture you will find 1 2 3 these are the three buttons respectively left button middle button and right button you will find that when you press from top then there will be a certain arrangement that will directly push that particular push button switch so whenever you top from top side from top case if you press that button that will actively automatically pressurize that particular switch and that will operate so these are the three functions associated with this then fourth is related to your ps/2 connectors which actually gives this connection to your computer side or on the back, back panel from this then fifth is you can find this is a chip this is actually senses the moment of your mouse then based on the moment of the mouse that is the analog uh, moments it will be converted into corresponding digital signals and which will be given to the computer which will ultimately interpret your x y x axis and y axis and accordingly based on this moment your cursor will move in the respective direction then sixth is your x axis will turns when you move mouse left and right that means sixth is for horizontal detecting the horizontal movement of the mouse similarly seventh is the vertical axis that is it will detect the up and down motion of this so you find both these are connected to your roller mouse with a 90 degree each so one will give the horizontal movement another will go for 
a vertical moment and based on x y y coordinates accordingly just like your graph it will go on giving you the uh, directions of the mouse and you can as you move properly the pointer will move and because pointer works under the software controls or maybe for that a driver is designed a driver will let later we'll talk about the driver then as i said eight it is a heavy rubber wheel that is a rubber ball in fact it is a heavy rubber ball then ninth it is to fix this particular rubber ball it should not move here and there and there should be a smooth movement of vertical and horizontal that can be whenever it is rotating there's a rotation of this mouse should be smooth more the smooth operation of this mouse better will be the movement and better will be the track and you will have a better response on to your screen similarly you can also have other 10th and 11th components are the electronic component like capacitors and transistors so this gives you what is exactly inside this is a logitech mouse that is a what is the construction of logitech mouse inside this if you just for put up for upper case upper case is removed you can put just upper case and it will start functioning so this is about roller ball mouse but it was very good somewhere in the uh, 90s 90s up to 95 96 it was good but it has got a lot of problems that problems will discuss later on and that is why to overcome this particular problems another mouse was developed that is we call as an opto mechanical mouse that means both the actions are there mechanical movement is also there as well as at the same time optical devices are also used to sense the mechanical movement of this particular roller ball that means roller ball is still used in this opto mechanical mechanism but instead of uh, instead of using y axis and x axis movement and you see instead of using the chip the better solution to give one for a better accuracy or a precise control on the moment you will find here you will be using a uh, led devices and led detectors so here you will find there is a light sources as well as light detectors and if you carefully see at the below diagram as the ball moves you will find because of this pressure on this that is on a roller for x axis and y axis both the that will uh, that will start moving or that wheel will rotate and once the wheel is rotated it will cut down the light source and when depending upon the intensity as well as the number of pulses that will be sensed by the light detector and it will also understand the direction of the mouse as well as the speed of the mouse speed of the movement and direction of the mouse so both will be detected based on this x and y this data again as usual it will be collected through by this mouse and it will be now sent to your uh, cpu for further processing i mean when it is sent to cpu this data is collected by the driver software or driver software of your mouse when we talk about the driver as you already know this is being a mechanical device so you have to install a driver when you need to install a driver for mouse nowadays i will say you don't require because your drivers are already available with your operating systems and these are automatically loaded whenever you uh, use with your mouse but when you require to install a mouse maybe the something like before 90s or 92 people were working on the disk operating system so whenever you are using a disk operating system and if you wish to use the mouse then in that case the company provides the driver and at that time you need to install this particular uh, driver so if any mouse has got some special characteristics and if you want to implement this you need to install that particular driver later on when the 95s uh, operating system 9x came into the market that is 95 98 or xp and all this then this uh, driver is already included into this when i say driver i mean a standard driver for maybe mouse or maybe keyboard driver probably given by the manufacturer will be different but manufact because of certain international conventions and there is a uh, rules uh, whenever the mouse is designed mouse is or keyboard are designed in such a way that they they that should operate on a standard software which is standardized by worldwide so uh, along with all the operating system whether it is windows or linux or mac system they have their own 
set of drivers and the, any device like mouse keyboard that actually uses the drivers configures accordingly and which works perfectly with this this is all about any drivers that are associated with the mouse as i said nowadays you don't require to bother about installing a keyboard or driver so how this keyboard driver in, and mouse are installed probably that we'll see in a booting process of a computer where these drivers are automatically loaded into operating systems or taken into the ram when you your machines are start up and you can directly work with the keyboard so as i said now here this is a mouse driver software i have already talked to you about this particular mouse driver software that when you should use a driver or when you do not require to use a mouse driver then as i said what are the disadvantage of a ball mouse so very big disadvantage of the mouse this is a big mechanical moment mostly if a ball is damaged or if a ball get dust or if a, if, if there is a dust then you will find that the moment is very poor the response of this is not good then in that case you have to remove that and you have to clean that particular mouse and after cleaning this particular mouse it almost starts working just like a earlier just like a new one and of course this was a problem with any mouse because whenever you run this particular mouse after every 10 15 days there is going to be dust and it, once it is dust is accumulated then the moment will not be very free and ultimately will have a problems to overcome this particular dust problems then the best mouse which we are now today's use that is optical mouse came into the picture so let's go for optical mouse what is exactly optical mouse this picture shows you for the sample optical mouse then if you see the left side at the center as you are aware this mouse are directly give connected with the mostly usb and usb directly supplies the power to this so led power is directly received from this and as in when you connect your mouse to your system you will find from below side this led start blinking so that is what you can very easily understand that it is an optical mouse so this is the way to just recognize which type of mouse it is and almost nowadays i'll say 99% mouse which we use these are all the optical mouse so what are the advantage of this as i said there is no moving parts means less and less wear and tear so there is lower chances of failure also there is no chances of getting dirt inside the mouse so there therefore the tracking will sensors will perfectly work and it will have a very good and smooth response and the resolution of this mouse is also good i mean here resolution is so good that even if you want to sign on to your screen i think if you are an expert using mouse even you can sign using the mouse such a good a smooth response this mouse is having they don't require special surface as such as mouse pad earlier roller mouse the you were forced to use a very good surface then only the function of this is good that you have to use a mouse pad but nowadays you don't use you don't require any mouse pad as such if you only if you have a base surface something like a white paper or a black paper it uh, runs very smoothly even on any type of paper even if it is a newspaper even your mouse will very good very perfectly work on that particular surface this is all this is a optical mouse so this is something like a picture that is optical mouse picture that how exactly it operates so i think uh, just to in two minutes i will explain you anyway this video explains this particular picture very nicely that is how exactly this mouse operates with certain animations on all what you need to understand is that as this is optical mouse so there is a led so if you see this is now on the this is particular led the led focuses the light onto this particular plastic light guide surface or this is a optical channel made up of a glass this light actually is guided or travel through this particular glass surface and it is incident onto your surface as such and from this surface light is again reflected this reflected light is again concentrated into a lens which is fixed into that glass box only this converged the light and this converted light is focused here on what we call as a cmos sensor or in simple our words we will say this is a camera 
and this camera actually senses this moment and this camera takes about thousands of pictures per second and this what what will be this uh, what will be the moment of your uh, say whenever you move the mouse then there will be certain moment on your uh, surface then very microscopic pictures of that particular surface is taken about thousand as i said thousand images are taken per seconds and these images are given to one dsp chip that is already on this and this dsp chip is a independent chip and this processes the it compares all the images and from this comparison it come to understand the speed of mouse as well as the direction of the mouse on the surface and accordingly it will generate the x as usual it will generate the uh, x and y coordinates which will ultimately given to your uh, cpu and further it will work then next part is your scroll mouse as you know scroll mouse you can with the scroll mouse you can either press that particular mouse so that you can have up and down operation or you can rotate that particular scroll so that the screen will go either up or or down directions and below this is what we shown that is a mouse pcb and the, that black strip we said this is nothing but the reliable surface on which it works so basically this is the construction of this and working it will be whatever i have just explained but better you can understand from this video also as i said we'll see just in what is the working of this of this particular mouse or i think there is a 22 minutes a uh, good uh, video i will like to share this particular video or run this particular video instead of going through this probably it will give you the much better picture this is the theoretical explanation which i have just explained you how this optical mouse works optical mouse works very best with the surfaces uh, on any surfaces like blank sheet or a white paper it only thing is that if we have a glass surface which is very uniform surface there is a very little irregularity in the surface then in that case it may not work so your optical mouse normally doesn't work on your glass apart from glass any other surfaces it will give a very good uh, response then what are the common problems associated with your mouse one is mouse pointer does not move smoothly so obviously if there is accumulation of dust of course, of course this problem is related to your mechanical or auto mechanical problem so you have to clean that particular dust or roller ball and then it will be it will start to use uh, working fine and most mouse mouse pointer fridges fridges means there is no movement of a mouse pointer and this you happen most of the times and you if there is no movement you come to know that either mouse is responding or your application is not responding most of the times your applications are there too many applications are there because of memory and other problems that is probably that might have been stuck up if you wait for certain time your mouse starts if you do not after waiting if it is not giving any response the best way is that you can also use but uh, you can use a task manager and through task manager you can shut down certain applications which is giving you the problems if you shut down this then mouse also starts functioning even all of these if it doesn't work then we come to know that your mouse has, uh, your system has hanged then best way is to restart the machine probably everything will be fine <laughs> if this is the problem then mouse doesn't work at all then that probably there is no connections or you have not physically properly connected the ps slash to connection if you connect this instead of to green if you connect to violet then obviously it will not form it will not work or if there is a loose connections in the wire somehow then in that case also mouse will not work at all if a mouse move pointer movement is too fast or too slow that means you have to go and you have to set it you have to do the settings of this mouse which you can do through the control panel mouse pointing device and you can set the mouse speed in sometimes mouse clicking you have a problem so in that case also you can go to the same way in that case you have to set the double click of the speed sometimes the left and mouse click depending upon whether you are a lefty or righty accordingly if you are lefty probably you have to change the right click and double uh, left click operations you can also do this particular settings from the same 
uh, on operating system, which probably you might have tried also. If unable to click the mouse, then the pro problem may be related with the push button switch. If you check that particular push button switch, it will uh, sort out the problem. Okay, these are the different problems. Now let us say I'll I'll run this particular video. Just be patient. So it is giving relatively the slow response, but anyway. This is related to your wireless mouse. See. Hello. Can you see where? What is the quality of the video? Just tell me, can you hear me? Yes, sir. You can hear me. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then can, is it clearly visible? No, sir. What is the what is the quality of the video? Is it satisfactory? The video is not clear. Uh, it is it is visible or not? It is a good quality or not? Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay, you can understand. Visible. Okay. 